What if I told you that investing for dividends can unlock unlimited passive income? Your initial thought would be yes, but how? Because finding the right dividend stocks that offer a high dividend yield and that are not a dividend trap can be, well, tough. Look no further because in this video, I have found the six best dividend ETFs that not only offer high dividend yields, but that also offer high capital appreciation along with consistent increasing dividend distributions. Starting off with number six, we have ticker symbol PEY or the Invesco High Yield Equity Dividend Achievers ETF. This ETF seeks to track the investment results of the NASDAQ US Dividend 50 Index, which includes common stocks that have a consistent record of dividend increases. PEY distributes dividends on a monthly basis, with their dividend distributions neither increasing or decreasing in the past couple of years. In the past 10 years, PEY has had an average annual return of 10.75%, meaning if you invested $10,000 10 years ago, you would now have a value of just under $32,000. PEY currently holds 51 stocks, which includes top holdings such as Verizon, Universal Corp, Philip Morris International Inc., and more. Some quick facts about PEY, their top 10 holdings make up about 27.42% of its total portfolio, it is passively managed, and it is categorized as qualified dividends. But what might be a make or break for this ETF is the expense ratio and that expense ratio is 0.52%, meaning you can expect to pay $52 for every $10,000 invested. But it stops there because the dividend yield is a whopping 4.29%. So just to recap, besides having an expense ratio of 0.52%, having a dividend yield over 4%, having great history being in the stock market since the inception date was back in 2004, and a 10 year annual return of 10.75% and it's number six. I can't wait to see what's next. Moving on to number five, we have ticker symbol SPHD or the Invesco S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility ETF. This ETF seeks to track the investment results of the S&P 500 Low Volatility High Dividend Index, which includes the 50 least volatile high yielding dividend stocks in the S&P 500. SPHD also distributes its dividends on a monthly basis, while having increasing dividend distributions in the past couple of years. In the past 10 years, SPHD has had an average annual return of 8.63%, meaning if you invested $10,000 10 years ago, you would now have a total value of just under $26,000. SPHD holds 51 stocks, which includes well-known companies such as AT&T, Verizon, Simon Property Group Inc., and more. Some quick facts about SPHD, the top 10 holdings make up about 26.63% of the total portfolio. It is passively managed and it also categorizes as qualified dividends. Now the last dividend ETF on this list had a fairly high expense ratio. Luckily, SPHD has an expense ratio of 0.30%, meaning you can expect to pay $30 for every $10,000 invested. Now the dividend yield. SPHD has a dividend yield of 4.01%. Pretty damn good. If these are the first two dividend ETFs on this list, I can't wait to see what's next. Moving on to number four, we have ticker symbol HDV or the iShares Core High Dividend ETF. This ETF seeks to track the investment results of the Morningstar Dividend Yield Focus Index, which includes high dividend paying US stocks. Now, while the past two dividend ETFs on this list pay out monthly distributions, HDV pays out quarterly dividends, with their dividend income distributions being fairly inconsistent the past couple of years. That being said, in the past 10 years, HDV has had an average annual return of 8.38%, meaning if you invested $10,000 10 years ago, you would now have a value of just over $25,000. HDV holds 81 stocks, which includes top companies such as ExxonMobil, Chevron, and Coca-Cola. Some quick facts about HDV, their top 10 holdings make up about 53.40% of their total portfolio. It is passively managed and it categorizes as qualified dividends. Okay, sweet, but what about that expense ratio, Brandon? Is it gonna be another high one, bro? Wait for it. HDV has an expense ratio of 0.08%. Yes, meaning you can expect to pay $8 for every $10,000 invested. That's really good. Now the fun doesn't stop there because HDV has a dividend yield of 3.83%. Now, although HDV's top 10 holdings hold a great amount of weight in their total portfolio, 
having a great 10 year annual return of over 8% a very low expense ratio of 0.08% and a dividend yield of 3.83% and it's only number four on this list? Damn. Because for number three, we have ticker symbol SPYD or the Spider Portfolio S&P 500 High Dividend ETF. This ETF seeks to track the investment results of the S&P 500 High Dividend Index, which includes 80 high dividend yielding stocks in the S&P 500. SPYD also distributes its dividends on a quarterly basis, which again, their dividend income distributions being inconsistent in the past couple of years. Since their inception date in 2015, SPYD has had an average annual return of 8.03%, meaning if you invested $10,000 from inception date, you would now have a total value of just under $18,000. SPYD holds 83 stocks, which includes top companies such as Intel Corp, Packaging Corp of America, Southern Co, and more. Some quick facts about SPYD, their top 10 holdings make up about 14.39% of the total portfolio. It is passively managed and it categorizes as qualified dividends. Cool, but what about the expense ratio? Because the last dividend ETF on this list had an expense ratio of 0.08%, can it be topped? You betcha because SPYD has an expense ratio of 0.07%, meaning you can expect to pay $7 for every $10,000 invested. Very good. But wait, SPYD has a dividend yield of 4.47%. Wow, that's pretty damn good. Now, although SPYD has only been in the market since 2015, the fact that it has a 0.07% expense ratio and a dividend yield over 4%. How are the next two dividend ETFs gonna top this one? Two more dividend ETFs on this list, and I promise it's gonna be worth it, because with number two, we have none other than ticker symbol JEPI, or the JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF. This ETF sinks current income while also accounting for capital appreciation. This ETF includes stocks in the S&P 500 index while also selling call options. JEPI distributes its dividends on a monthly basis, with their dividend income distribution slowly increasing, but also inconsistent in the past couple of years. Since their inception date in May of 2020, JEPI has had an average annual return of 12.80%, meaning if you invested $10,000 from the inception date, you would now have a value of just under $14,000. JEPI currently holds 136 stocks, which includes top companies such as Progressive Corp, PepsiCo, Coca-Cola, and more. Some quick facts about JEPI, their top holdings make up about 14.73% of the total portfolio. It is actively managed and it categorizes as qualified dividends. Now, while the past couple of dividend ETFs on this list has had a low expense ratio, JEPI has an expense ratio of 0.35%, meaning you can expect to pay $35 for every $10,000 invested. But what makes JEPI number two on this list is not its average annual return or its expense ratio, it is indeed the dividend yield. And that dividend yield is 11.35%. So Brandon, you'd rather put JEPI number two on the list, even though it's actively managed it's only been around for not only three years in the stock market, fairly high expense ratio, and inconsistent dividend income distributions? Okay, now although that may be true, having a positive average annual return since their inception date during a bear market, coupled along with that high dividend yield of over 11%, JEPI has the potential to be something special. But it doesn't beat number one on this list, because number one is none other than ticker symbol SCHD or the Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF. This ETF seeks to track the investment results of the Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 Index, which includes high dividend yielding stocks issued by U.S. companies that have a record of consistently paying dividends. SCHD also distributes dividends on a quarterly basis, with the dividend income distributions being fairly consistent in the past couple of years. In the past 10 years, SCHD has had an average annual return of 12.09%, meaning if you invested $10,000 10 years ago, you would now have a value of just over $35,000. That's pretty good. SCHD currently holds 104 stocks, which includes top companies such as Cisco Systems, PepsiCo, and Coca-Cola. Some quick facts about SCHD, the top 10 holdings make up about 41.47% of the total portfolio. 
it is passively managed and it categorizes as qualified dividends. Now why is SCHD number one on this list? Well for starters, that expense ratio. And that expense ratio is 0.06%. Yes, meaning you can expect to pay $6 for every $10,000 invested. But it doesn't stop there because the dividend yield for SCHD is a whopping 3.57%. A whopping 3.57%? That's not even that high, bro. What are you talking about? Okay, so coupled with a 10-year average annual return of over 12%, an expense ratio of 0.06%, with the dividend income distributions being consistent over the past couple of years, you better believe a dividend yield of 3.57% is very great. SCHD is by far the king of dividend ETFs. Now, if you're looking for dividend ETFs that only pay monthly dividend distributions, then check out this video where I go over the five best monthly dividend ETFs that money can buy. Peace.